Hi friends, this lesson is for Module 5, Lesson 10. Last night, I went a little wild. Wait till you see what I did. Well, I know that we've been dividing up shapes, and I had this perfectly whole pink circle, and I was like, man, I wonder what happened if I would just divide it into halves. And I was like, ooh, I like having two equal parts. What if I divided it again? Ooh, into fourths. And I was like, ooh, I like having four equal parts. But then guess what I did? I told you I got a little wild. I just kept dividing, and I could not stop, and it was so tricky. And eventually, I felt like I had a lot going on. Kind of looks like a little pizza. I made so many cuts in my circle that I wasn't too sure how many parts I had now. I'm going to go ahead and count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, I made 12 parts? Oh, that's pretty cool. You know what's the coolest thing is if I added all those 12 parts together, it would give me one whole again. Um, ooh, this is kind of reminding me of something. What if I slide over the numbers so that they're on where each of the cuts? What if I do that just to kind of organize it a little bit? Okay, I'm going to slide over my 7 now, my 8, my 9, 10, 11, and my 12. Oh yeah, I like the way that that looks. A little bit more organized. Wait a minute, that reminds me of something that's in our classroom. Do you see anything in our classroom that's round with 12 different parts to it that looks really similar to this? Oh, did you see it? If not, I'm going to show you. Because today, something in our classroom is going to help us to do our learning goal that says, I can tell time to the hour. And it looks pretty similar to the shape that I made last night accidentally. It's the clock. Yeah. Is that what you said? Yeah. The clock looks like our, the shape that I just made. Now, if you'll notice, each of my parts actually isn't just like one of the parts. It's actually the hour. And let's count how many hours there are that are shown on our clock. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So every time we're talking about one of the numbers, it's kind of like talking about the whole amount of the circle. We're talking about a different part. And each part stands for the hour. So all the numbers on the clock stand for an hour. Now, how do we show that on the clock? Well, we show that on the clock by a little hand with a little pointy arrow on it, and that's called the hour hand. Go ahead and say hour hand. <clears throat> Good job. So what hour is this clock pointing to? Yeah, it's pointing to the one hour. But we don't say, hey, mom, what time is it? And she responds, one hour? No, that would get confusing. We say, oh, clock. There are two hands on the clock. There is the hour hand, which is tiny, and he just points to each of the hours. And then there's a long one, and he's called the minute hand. Go ahead and say the minute hand. Good. Now the minute hand ticks around the entire clock one at a time. And when he is pointing, he's nice and long, when he's pointing to the 12, we say o'clock. So this clock shows one o'clock. Let's see if we can figure out what the next clock says. All right, this clock is pointing to which hour? Yeah, seven. And if the long hand or the minute hand is pointing to the 12, what are we gonna say? O'clock. So what time is it, friend? Yes, it's seven o'clock. Good job. Let's try another one. All right, which hand is the hour hand pointing to? Yep, 10. And the minute hand's pointing to the 12, so we would say 10. You've got it, o'clock. Anytime that minute hand is pointing to the 12, we're just gonna say o'clock after the hour. <clears throat> what about this one? I would say four. And then it's going to point to the 12, so it's 4 o'clock. Oh, I love it. You're doing so well telling time to the hour. The thing is, though, is I don't always look at, I don't have a clock on my hand when I'm looking at the time. I usually look at my iPad. Do you do that? But it looks a little bit different on the iPad. On the iPad, the hour is the number that comes first. Then there are two dots in between the hour and the minutes. So just to kind of separate it. It's kind of like a pause, like a comma. So the first number you see is the hour. The next minutes are the or the next numbers are the minutes. In this case, when there's zero zero, it's o'clock. 
So this time says 4 o'clock. All right, if my analog clock, which is the one that has the numbers on it in a circle, if that says 10 o'clock, then my iPad would say 10, and then the o'clock would be with the two dots in the middle, and then 0, 0. All right, if my time on the analog clock was 1 o'clock, what would my iPad say? Yep, it's say 1, and then how do I show the o'clock? You're right, dot, dot, 0, 0. What about 7 o'clock? I would say 7, and then what would come next? You're right, dot, dot, 0, 0. Friend, our learning goal says I can tell time to the hour, and that's exactly what we've been doing. Now it's your turn. You're going to get this exit ticket from your teacher, and you're going to go ahead and fill it out. You're going to practice telling the time with the dot dots and then also writing it with o'clock. Look at the clock, either one with the numbers in the, on the go around in a circle, which is called the analog clock, or look at the one that looks kind of like the one on our iPad, which is called a digital clock. Good luck, friend.